the early 90s was a recession, I was thinking to myself, I said, well, you know, how do we stay in the same business but yet be more safe? So I said, well, if we become, we, we change the business model to do retail. My dad said, which, which market do you want to do? Where do you want to open a store? I said, well, how about the Chinese market? My name is David Lee. I'm the uh, chairman and CEO of Hingwa Lee Jewelers, chairman of Hingwa Lee Group. Hingwa Lee Jewelers is, uh, have been in business since 1965. It started out when my father became a gemstone carving apprentice. When he graduated, he'd come out and start out his own uh, factory of gemstone carvings. Eventually, he was invited to the U.S. for the Smithsonian Institute to do some restoration on the antique. When, when he finished that, he thought, oh, the, there's a great opportunity in the U.S. to set up an office. So that was how he got his start. My father had changed the business model uh, of products uh, from gemstone carvings to jewelry in the 80s. At the time when I was young, when my father was doing that wholesale business, we had an office in downtown LA. We would go to um, convention centers all over throughout the United States. I was a little kid, you know, I would wear my little suit and, and I would go and help out, set up, set up the jewelry. I remember when I went to college, my dad wanted me to be like uh, either a dentist or a pharmacist. Uh, and that's something, you know, very Chinese and very traditional. And, but I realized I wasn't good at chemistry at all, you know, and so that wasn't going to work out. And I remember when I tried to tell my dad that I was, I was going to change to do business, uh, I was so scared because business, there's no guarantee. It's not like a professional job that you always should have an income, right? Business is such a risk situation. But once I did tell him, uh, he was very supportive. When I first uh, started, I changed the business model from uh, wholesale jewelry to doing retail. At that time, in the early 90s, you know, there wasn't as many Chinese. The Chinese market was still growing. I thought there was a need for a jewelry store that specializes in the market. Therefore, I went out and found the place and designed the store and started to go after the watch brand, which was not an easy task. Yeah, just because you go to a brand name and say, hey, you know, I have a store, you know, do you, can you open me to be authorized dealer? They don't say yes because they're very protective of their image. And each area, they give really one representative to handle. So you really had to prove yourself. As a retailer, we were new. I had to really convince them. That took patience, a lot of hard work, and a lot of uh, perseverance in order to, to stay with it and, and to get the good brands that you see we have now. Right now for Hingwali Jewelers, uh, we have consolidated to two very big stores, 15,000 square foot stores. In, in San Gabriel, which was a building that I built, and in Walnut, which is the, in the plaza that I also built. I have to say we're very proud that in, in America, we're probably one of the top jewelry and watch retailers. I'm glad that we as Chinese can do that and create something like this. What I call the retail, the jewelry and watch, is our retail division of our Hingwali. And uh, the other thing is the real estate. When I was operating the retail store, the profits from the retail store my father would invest in the real estate. And lastly is the investment division where we invest in automobiles, high-tech, a beverage company. I've invested in various things. My father passed away six years ago uh, from cancer. That obviously was a big um, uh, hit for me. Uh, he was my mentor, you know, I learned a lot of things from him. His, his way to show uh, love was to teach me something. Many things I do now uh, I, I, and I, I react and I make a decision on, I can hear him saying, you know, oh, this is what he said before, you know, this is how he thought, and, and this is how people think, and, and so to do that. Many things I, I do, I, I try to set up his legacy, like I built this uh, building, the name of course is Hing Wally Jewelers, it's still his name. I have my three golden rules, uh, working hard, uh, working hard with perseverance, and working hard with integrity. Right? So those were stuff that I learned from my father that I kind of put in this three golden rules, you know, to always just to remember him.